Hey everybody, Harold here. It's another video on Power BI visuals. Said before, they're new February 2024. If you don't have them, you need the latest version of Power BI. Download it, go to File Options and Enable Preview Features. Enable Visual Calculations and Preview Features. Um, another word to the wise, these are meant for temporary on the fly calculations, they're not to, meant to replace your DAX. In fact, they have certain limitations. Uh, one of them I'm going to make you aware of today. There are others. Pragmatic Works will show you a good one on moving average and what's wrong with it. I'm going to show you what's wrong with, well, not wrong with running some, but the pitfalls of running some and really how to use it to calculate to date calculations year to date month to date quarter to date so i have a simple matrix here year quarter month and day i'm going to i've dropped total sales in my matrix of course those break down by year quarter month and day i'm going to do some Quick new calculations on it. New calculation. I want to use the quick measure, canned measure, whatever you want to call it, running sum. So you're running sum total sales. And I like to format these. There's no other way to do it. So you say format, running sum, total sales, comma, currency, if it was percent, you could say percent. I've got a video on that. Go check it out. So this should do it. So now we have a running sum. Okay. What you see here is total sales. And the running sum, it runs up through the year, keeps calculating, calculates up through the months, calculates the running sum day by day, just keeps going. The problem is it does keep going. If you're looking for year-to-date sales, this is not how you do it. Um, see our total sales, that should have reset to 484 reset to zero and been 470 so on and so forth if you want a year to date this is just a running sum for all your time periods it's not breaking it down into any date granularity date period granularity what you can do is if you want to do let's say year you can say running sum. Let's not do that. Let's copy our other one. So we have the formula. You can right or left click on this to edit calc. We will copy this. Paste. And if you say well, these are parent-child relations. If you've seen my video on expand, collapse, parent-child. The hierarchy is a parent-child relationship, like I've explained in my video on expand and collapse. The year is the parent of the quarter. The quarter is the parent of the month. The month is the parent of the day. So running sum accepts another argument called reset. It tells you when to reset the counter, what have you. So we want to reset it at the... I as parent. So format running sum total sales reset at the highest parent, which would be the year. So it appears that nothing happened. Let me show you at the date level what happens. Quarter four, December. 
2014 and January 2015. It does reset at the date level for the year, which is the highest parent. So let's go ahead and uh, rename, well, edit calc, rename this running some HP and let's paste and just like highest parent we can do lowest parent which should be the month we'll call that running sum LP and we'll drop that in our matrix. And here you're going to see the lowest parent should be the month. So from January 31, it resets in February. So that's the lowest parent. Now, highest parent is one by default. Lowest parent is the highest number, one minus the number of your, the number of fields in your matrix minus one. So in this case it would be three. So if we wanted to go to quarter, we can say the middle one between one and three is two. Should have named that running sum two, but our quarter to date. So we get to the end of March, quarter two. April one, it resets. So highest parent, highest in the matrix, lowest parent, second lowest in the matrix because the date itself does not have any children and then the other ones in between you can use two three four whatever is between your highest and lowest okay let's go back to our report just for the heck of it we'll see what it looks like in a line chart We'll go back to our we'll go back to our report now you know how to do use reset with the the reset argument and running sum to do year to date month to date quarter to date calculations i hope you like this one if you did please like it subscribe and i will see you next time thanks everybody